All right. This video is going to talk to you about how to get into the Hunt for Hell scavenger hunt coming up January 15th, 2021 from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And you can go and get start, get logged in and ready to go now so that you're when the game starts, you're good to go. Here are some of the prizes that you can win. First place is a Hover One Astro LED Bluetooth enabled speaker built into the hoverboard. Goes 12 miles per hour. Super awesome. Uh, second and third place Fitbit Inspires. Fourth and fifth place Bluetooth speakers. Sixth or tenth place are going to be some awesome wa reusable water bottles that you guys can use. So there's lots of great prizes that you have an opportunity to win. Um, we're going to be doing this game through uh, a game called Goose Chase, a scavenger hunt goose chase. And you can download the Goose Chase scavenger hunt to your phone if you have a phone. might be a little bit easier to do, but you can also do it from your student-issued Chromebook. And so you've got your Chromebook, and Goose Chase is already installed on there, and I'm going to show you how to get to it. So what you're going to do on your student Chromebook is open up the Goose Chase app by opening the launcher. And then you're going to expand your launcher window to see all of the applications that you have installed on your Chromebook. Now, once you've used it or opened up a couple things, um, these at the top are going to be your most recent ones that you can use. Now, you may have to search through the pages of your applications that are installed to see what all you've got in here. And what you're going to do is find the Goose Chase logo in the Goose Chase app, which is going to be the two goose feet. Um, if you download it from the iOS or Android store, it's the exact same looking icon and everything is actually going to be exactly the same. So if you're doing this on your phone, the steps are going to be exactly the same. Just make sure you have parents permission before you download anything from your Android or iOS store. So what I'm going to do is open up this Goose Chase app um, and it's going to open up. looks exactly the same whether it's on your phone or mobile screen. And then what we're going to do is choose. We always play as a guest. We don't want to create an account. We don't need to create an account. So we're going to go to play as a guest. And what you're going to do then is you're going to put in the game code that can be found on posters around the school. Your advisor teacher is giving you for the hunt for health. So you're going to put in those those game codes. And so this is not the game code for this game. This is a test game that I put together just to show you guys. But you're going to want to put the game code in where it says game code. And it is not case sensitive. So it doesn't matter if you put it in caps or lowercase letters. You just want to put the game code in. Once the game code is entered, you should see, now I created here a test hunt, but you should see uh, the, all of the information about our scavenger hunt that's taking place, when it starts, everything is. Now, even though the game hasn't started yet, you can still join and be ready to go. So when I go to hit join the game, it's going to take me to where I can now see players. And what I want to do is, as a player here, I need to go and find the players, the list of players that are here. And I want to find my name. And so your name is going to be, it's going to be first name, last initial. And you're going to want to scroll through here and you'll find your name. And so say my name is Test Kid. So when I click on Test Kid, um, it's a private player profile. So I'm going to enter in the passcode to get in here. The passcode is going to be your student ID number, right? So Test Kid's student ID number, we're just going to say is 12345 that I created for this. And now I'm in for the scavenger hunt. Once you get into the game, your dashboard will be empty until the game starts. But once the game starts, you can see all of the things that you've got that you need to do. So this first tab are going to be all of your missions. There's going to be lots and lots of challenges or missions that you can do. And so what you would do is, and it tells you, the uh, icon tells you kind of what you need to do. But if you click on the mission, it'll give you everything that you need to do. And it'll tell you, how do you get that? And so this one is, I have to take a picture of two black cars side by side. And so to get, and if I do this, I get 400 points. So I would use my Chromebook camera, take evidence of it, and submit the picture of it. So if I... Go in here, I'm going to take a picture, allow Goose Chase to take it, and this is going to give me all of the information. No, this is not two black cars, but I'm just going to take the picture to submit it. Um, these are all going to be approved by the advisors of Sway, so when I get this done, I would submit this. Obviously, if I didn't submit it with the two black cars, it would get rejected, um, and so then I can go in and look at and see which ones I've completed. And so as I have more missions, the missions would be down here. So I'd have lots and lots of missions that I can do. Over here, what I can see is a feed activity. And what this is, is this will show you 
when people have submit what people have submitted for the game. And so here's this is test kid just submitted this. So that would be all of these. So you can keep track of what your friends, what your classmates, what your schoolmates are doing, everybody at Southwest as they're playing and competing in this scavenger hunt. Um, scavenger hunt again runs from uh, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. This third tab is going to be your leaderboard. This is where you can see where do you stand in the challenges. Now, you obviously don't have to do all the challenges. Challenges have different point values as they're unrolled throughout the day. Um, and so you can pick, I want to do the ones that are really high point values. I want to do the ones that are low point values. Really, it's up to you how you choose to do your points. Um, but the more points you get, the higher you move on the leaderboard. And at 7 a.m., this leaderboard is going to determine who gets what prize. So you will know right away who's going to win those prizes. And then this will give you notifications, anything, messages that we're sending out or anything that's coming through the game. You can get lots of information about it. Um, this final tab just kind of shows you the things that you've completed or the stuff that you've done. Good luck. Have fun. Hope you really enjoy this Hunt for Health scavenger hunt that's talking all about how to keep you guys having a positive, healthy, active lifestyles free of alcohol, tobacco, other drugs. So I really hope you enjoy this. And if you have any problems, please do not hesitate to reach out to Mr. Egner as the lead advisor for Sway, and we'll help you get started and get going on it. Thank you so much. Have a great day.